Hello, second graders. Ms. Cabrera here with a math read aloud for you by one of my favorite authors, Stuart Murphy. It's Captain Invincible and the Space Shapes. I'm Captain Invincible, king of the skies. With my space dog, Comet, I've conquered galaxies. We're fearless in our spaceship, the Hawk. But now we must return to Earth. Getting home will be tricky. Danger lurks at every turn. But our space shapes will help us get there. Oh no, it's a meteor shower. Watch out, if the rocks hit us, we'll never make it home. Comet, push the first button after the square. That's the one, the cube. The radar beams from our directional cube will help us find a path to safety. Good thing the six square faces of the cube were working properly. It takes more than a little space rock to stop Captain Invincible. Well, hey, I did all the work. That's odd. The stars are getting fuzzy. It's almost as though we're floating into a cloud of poison gas. Must not black out. Must try the cone. We're going to be okay, Comet. The cone will pull the gas in through its base that's shaped like a circle and send out clean air through its tip. Good as new. Now we can just relax and woof, woof, woof. Wait, what's the matter, Comet? Oh, that, that's just a flying saucer. Oh, a flying saucer, ah! Only one chance, the pyramid. The square base hold it, holds it steady while the four triangle shaped faces come together and shoot a sonic beam that will send that alien ship back where it belongs the other side of the universe. We're almost back to Earth now, Comet. We'll be fine as long as we don't run into a galactic beast. Don't worry, Comet. First, we'll send out the cylinder. The circle-shaped base will open up to release a flying sphere. That took care of that beast. Woof. Finally, there's the landing pad. So we hit the rectangular prism button to release the landing gear, rectangular prisms, and the gear's out. We're almost there, almost, hey. Crash, oh dear, there's that galactic beast. <laughs> What's going on, asked dad. You woke everyone up. Hey, said Brad, look at your spaceship. It's all broken. <sighs> Go to bed, Sam, Mom said, yawning. You can clean up this mess tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'll be Captain Stupendous, King of the Seas. Arr.